Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. I'm on Frotch. And we're here to talk about Netflix's massively inflated budget, crazy 10 episode sci ultra sci fi series, Altered Carbon. Yeah. Um, which, if you guys didn't know, Netflix was putting a ton of advertising dollars behind. It came out Super Bowl weekend on that Thursday or Friday, I think yeah. it was. And everyone was like talking about it, saying it's like the most expensive show that Netflix has ever done. And we'll get into that in a little bit. And then um, Cloverfield Paradox like totally like cock blocked them Sunday night, and yeah, and and people stopped talking about Altered Carbon all of a sudden. So I don't know if Netflix shot himself in the foot by doing that, but either way, uh, oh, he's back. Let, let's get into Altered Carbon. Where they shot themselves in the foot is you know they released a sci-fi movie called Mute. I did. well, it's not supposed to be a sci-fi movie, but it just turned out to be yeah, a sci-fi movie. So, uh, which I didn't see. I saw the preview for it, but right. I haven't seen the movie yet. But it, I, it, I'm, I'm nice thinking day. about checking it out. No, I'm, I'm definitely gonna watch it. Yeah. Uh, but Altered Carbon. I mean, listen, I fucking love this this show, dude. Which Look, is crazy. Spoilers, too, guys. Spoilers. And curse words. Steve doesn't. You don't like sci-fi usually. I, do, I love sci-fi. You know, I love, not, I not love the Terminator franchise, the Alien franchise. I love, I, I I love time travel, alternate realities. That's sci-fi. That's sci-fi for days. No, oh, well, you, you don't. Know, you, you you think I don't like sci-fi because I think Blade Runner is a piece of toilet paper. Well, no. You, okay, let me rephrase that. You don't like sci-fi that's not action-packed. That's not true either, dude. Name one. Alien is not actually. It's pretty. A come on, dude. Come on. No, there are like there are come like on. pocket moments of like. Like I can name like probably forty sci-fi films off the top of my head that you haven't even heard about because you wouldn't. Like I'm, I'm just saying yeah, you're not like. You know you're naming like the the you, you, you're you're naming all these straight to video <laughs> sci-fi movies probably aren't you? No, I'm not gonna. You probably think Dune movie. is this shit, don't you? No, I thought Dune was really boring and a bad adaptation of the book. Oh, well. They're doing a remake of that, by the way. Oh, that's stupid. I heard the guy that's doing The Arrival is doing the Dune remake. I feel like there's no good way to make to remake Dune. I don't know. Was Sting going to be in it again? St isn't Sting dead? No, Sting's not dead. What kind of, no, Sting's not dead. I don't know. All these people have been dying lately. And Sting isn't dead. Um, Kevin Smith almost died. Well, oh, wait. Yeah, wait. Yeah, no, yeah, he did. Oh, because we're doing shit backwards today. Yeah, we're doing shit backwards. So I'll talk about that we'll later. Talk about Kevin Smith on those, whatever. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Get well soon. Altered Carbon. Altered Carbon. I I loved the show, man. I thought it was great. First of all, like super expensive, indeed. You could see it, but more importantly, like I I just I thought it was great. I thought it was a super interesting original concept that we really haven't seen. Um, and Do you know what the budget is? I have no idea what the budget is. I like to compare it to some movies we've seen lately. Because you take a look at Netflix like... Netflix doesn't release that info. Though. What, what really yeah. blew my mind is you take a, a look at something like Altered Carbon. Yeah. And it makes like Justice League look like a TNT movie. Yeah, this movie looked better than Justice yeah. League. Like the, yeah. the special effects. Yeah. Somehow look better than Justice League special effects. Yeah. That that blows my mind. Absolutely. Um. Uh, did, you, did you like the show? Everything about the show was great. Everything. The, the casting was on point, right? Casting was great. Listen, casting was I incredible. I want to say this. I haven't seen this many Asian actors in a non-ninja movie ever in anything. So Hollywood, anyone that says, like, you know, there's not a good pool of Asian actors, just, you know, reference Altered Carbon because phenomenal actors. It's like the ultimate example of whitewashing. What do you mean? The main character was a Chinese dude played by, like, the ultimate white guy. D dude, you, you, dude, shut the fuck up. Fuck you. All right. No, listen. There, there was, there, there was, there was. Uh, fuck you, dude. All right. You're an asshole. Anyways, wow. You why, way to spin that and make me look like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> no, no, but it's true, right? No, no it's like, not. It's not true. <laughs> fuck off. All right. Wasn't he Takeshi? Kobach. Kobach. Yeah, he Kobach. looks like Bill. Kobach. Hey, what's up, Bill? No, fuck you, dude. No way. No. <laughs> Takeshi Kobach. Whatever, dude. The the main villain, his sister. Spoilers. It, it was was an Asian chick and it, like, dude, fuck you. All right, you're an asshole. Do you watch it with the subtitles? Sometimes. It really bothered me that his last name was spelled K O V A C S, so it looks like Kovacs to me, and everyone kept saying Kovacs. 
Oh, I didn't like that either. Like, it really bothered me. Yeah, <laughs> it really bothered me. Yeah. I know it's a weird little thing to yeah, notice. Yeah, 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 I noticed that. But it was like off-putting. Like, yeah, cool especially yeah. the Hispanic girl. Yeah. How'd you feel about the changes in languages? Like, well, uh, it didn't bother me. Like it went, but but it, within a conversation, like they're speaking to each other in like four different languages. No, it was pretty much they were they were speaking Spanish and Arabic. The show. There was Arabic, right? English, English, Russian, oh, German. Russian. Yeah, yeah, no. Like, I, I thought it was great. I it was, was weird. Good. I thought it was good. The thing is, is, is you had to really pay attention. If you yeah. do not pay attention to the show, you get lost like that. Yeah. You know, especially since like you don't know who you're really talking to. The whole concept, if you guys haven't watched it, is mm-hmm. you know they take out one of your vertebrae and replace it with uh with uh, a stack is what they call it. Right. And your consciousness. And your memories and everything go on that stack. So if your physical body dies, they pull the stack and put you into another body, a.k.a. a sleeve. But at that point, is, is, is it like just really your soul or just they found a way to program your memories? There's the debate. Right. You know, and which is, which is why they said basically these people, these mechs or meths, whatever they call yeah. them, that live in the sky are gods now. Because right. they're immortal. Right. They've taken the place of God. Right, right. You know? But it, it, to some people, because you have the Neo Catholics who are. A lot of social issues in this, you know? Like, there's a lot of every issue. Religious coding, which which means if you die, you're not allowed to take your stack and put it in another sleeve. You know, you have to respect right. real death or whatever. It's very like, uh, that's uh, very like the uh, Jehovah Witnesses. Jo- why, why do you say that? Jehovah Witnesses can't get like blood transfusion and stuff like that. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Um, they're called neo Catholics in the show, the uh, the yeah. religious yeah. sect, right? Then you have, uh, well, first, um, the tone of the movie is great, like it's it's cyberpunk, yeah. So it's like the the look is cyberpunk. So you're look, talking about like Blade Runner. It looked and it uh, looked like Blade Runner. Yeah the 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 story is also uh, it's noir, right? It's a yeah. classic detective noir story, like yeah. in the vein of like Chinatown. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Um, it, it was it was a good mixture. Usually, when you see cyberpunk stories filmed in like a noir style, the detective story was great. It became a lot more than that. Um, at first, I thought the flashbacks were annoying. Um, then you it mean, became his previous life, right? Yeah. Then it became a huge part of the story for obvious huge reasons. Huge part of the story. Um, the actors were fantastic. Fan- all of them. I loved um, the the meth. What's his name? Like he knocked it out of the park. The 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 one whose death we were trying to solve. Yes. Um, oh, I forgot, I forgot his forgot. Yeah. older guy though. He yeah. was amazing. Yeah, he was great. Yeah, he was amazing. Yeah. Um, I yeah, no, he was he was great. The, Ortega, the cop, was great. Ortega was good. I loved her her partner, Abud. Abud, yeah. Yeah, he was fantastic. Even the captain, the captain was the great captain too. Was yeah, great. Uh, the guy that played Kovac. Yeah. Slash Riker. He was awesome. Awesome. Who uh, was in RoboCop? In right. The remake. Um, great, great job. Um, my favorite character was uh, definitely Poe. Poe was amazing. The AI. Poe, yeah, the a- the whole AI verse. Yeah, the AI verse was awesome. Like, I wish they would have explored that. Like, 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 let me tell you what. Watching this movie, it makes me afraid for the future. Yeah. Because no. it's totally like attainable, realistic shit, with the exception of the stacks, of course. That, right. That seems a little. Well, Elon Musk should not watch this movie. <laughs> no, no, no. It, but it, it was it, like. A, a total class warfare too. Right. People that live in the sky. Yeah, the class warfare. You had the religious commentary, the questions about what's the soul, the regulation of immortality. Yeah. Right. Like you can't have like double sleeves and stuff like that. Right. Yeah, he had to kill one of them. Right. And and then you have like, you know, um, philosophical questions where like if you live long enough, you get bored with regular shit, right? Which is why the city in the clouds or city in the above their head or whatever existed yeah i mean it really touched on some fucked up shit like you are yeah. alive for so long that you get bored with regular life and you want the next craziest thing and in this show it exposed it, exp- it exposed an underground or above ground however you want to look at it mm-hmm. um sex slave like retreat for these rich motherfuckers to go and brutally murder and fuck women or men right boys ch- children adults yeah. whatever the the crazy thing about that is so like you know before he w- he would basically pay to choke women out and kill women yeah. but he would provide them a new sleeve yes right the whole point of this city in the clouds was that the people that were being sold into slavery or forced to perform these sex acts thought they were going to get resleeved but the people doing committing the acts were actually murdering them and destroying their sleeve without their knowledge i know I which know. was the turn on for them I which know. is yeah 
it, it like it exposed a really fucked up part of human nature you know and, but i see it right i, I could totally see yeah. that happening it, like people that live two three hundred years like just getting bored with life you yeah know? yeah um and, and i mean even 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 the dad the, the i forget what his name is the, the, the guy who's murder we were trying to solve you know mm-hmm. keeping his son like a teenager not letting him right. grow up Right, you know, like he did great too. That character yeah, that underused, kid. yeah, but he was perfect. Yes, yeah. Uh, the wife, amazing, amazing. First of all, too, like listen, she was beautiful. Too. She was br- really so pretty. Many pr- pretty people, so much like a lot of like nudity, a lot of sex, uh, uh, like a lot of dick being shown too. I've seen more dick in this show than I've seen probably in anything. Yeah, like. Like when when the guy again we we need to find out what this guy's name is like mm-hmm. he came out of his sleeve and he just fucking walk around nude everyone's like cool and I was like oh shit like completely normal them yeah. I was like oh okay the, the fight between Kovac's sister and Ortega and mm-hmm. she's like butt ass naked and there's yeah. like multiple versions of her coming out coming out the window yeah like th- like I there, there's not th- this this isn't for children for no de- definitely is not for children the nudity was there was a lot of nudity but that doesn't bother me um the uh, violence was vi- the violence over was the top over the top the, w- the one of my favorite episodes was w- when they showed the torture in the AI oh that was insanity dude yeah I was like I was like oh my god this is yeah like this, this is, is crazy this is yeah this is a fucked up world that yeah is possible and how about the you know what I loved I loved the villain I forgot his name uh who yeah. worked for his sister, the, Ray. The ghost guy. Yeah, the ghost walker. The ghost walker. He had that little, that, like... That tool that just basically rips out... Stacks. Your flesh. Yeah. Your flesh. Right, and he, it's... He and went after Ortega and just yeah. pretty much just, like... It just rips out chunks of flesh. elevator scene. Oh, yeah, that was so brutal. Brutal. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the show's definitely not for kids. It's really brutal. Um, The story, it, it, it begins as a detective story. Um, Basically, this meth... Um, which we don't know the name. This is awful. But basically, the, he has a lot of power. He reawakens this what's called an envoy, which was a freedom fighter from Another over 300 player. years ago. Yeah. Right? He's supposed to be the lost envoy. Envoys have special abilities, um, like intuition. Pre-cons. Right. Yeah. And so, basically, he's offering him his freedom, right, in order for him to solve uh, the crime of who murdered him. Yeah. Right? A lot of people believed he committed suicide. Yeah. Hello. See, um, so uh, so basically, uh, you know, the cops, uh, Ortega's a cop that that her life is being ruined by this guy because she declared it a suicide. Yeah. Um, we are we are live, in right? So she starts she starts following him around, um, and that's how their relationship starts developing. He decides to stay in this hotel, um, an AI hotel. Yeah. Uh, the Raven, which obviously, says, don't don't do it. To. Right, no one goes here. Which showed like instantly when he goes to the Raven, I was like, this show's gonna be amazing. Yeah, like when the shootout happens with the twin, right? Yeah. And and through that, you meet you meet a big group of characters as he's trying to solve this murder, and he starts connecting other crimes to it, right? Which was the suicide of this girl that fell from the heavens, yeah. which is what drove Riker crazy and what got them to put him on ice, what they call it, right? Yeah. And uh, and so he's trying to connect that, and then the murder of Lizzie, yeah, which ends up being his backup's daughter. Yes. Right. Also, Lizzie's mother is is also on ice for being a hacker. Yes. So these three stories are tied together. He he believes they all have something to do with the murder suicide of the meth, and uh, it ends up being a lot fucking more than that. Right. So, so many moving parts. Yeah. That come together in a very rewarding fashion in the end. Right. You know, um, so many. And again, if you do not pay attention, you will miss something. Right. Like, like I can't tell you how many, like when they double sleeved Kovac, yeah, and and they split off in two and stuff like like if you did not understand the double sleeving process because right. you missed the Russian guy getting double sleeved and all that that got explained, you would be lost. Yeah, you know, like if you do not understand that the wife was offering him like you know paradise on an island and then like to go do that, you would be lost as to why she picked him up. Like there are so many like like things that if you do not pay attention and and the reason is because every, every thread uh leads to to one point right every thread is right right yeah. his sister so yeah. 
Um, his sister takes different sleeves, so she's part of a moving part. She's one person in the life of the meth. She's involved in the AI stuff, and she's involved in the Lizzie stuff. Everything connects to his and sister. And she's an envoy. Right. She's a former envoy. Right. So everything connects to her. Yeah. Right? So that's why it's important. You have to really pay attention because whether there's a reason why... Um, the twin wasn't supposed to kill Kovac in the hotel. Yeah. He took that upon himself. There's a reason for that because Kovac almost seems like they keep trying to take him but not kill him. Yeah, because right. his sister wants him. She like like and they even said it like in her own weird way, like like she she had this like undying loyalty and love towards him. Right. Know? Um I, I didn't like that they tried to explain that towards the end. I, I, I think that she was so far gone, there's no way he could have reacted that way. Yeah, but she wasn't going to kill him. Even at the very end, she's like, look, come with me. Help mm -hmm. me get out of here, and I'll reunite you with your long-lost love that I blew up. Right, which was you crazy, know? that whole story. Yeah. How about her being the, the the creator of the stacks? Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. Again, so many so many moving parts. And then she had like like this, this like virus i guess that that mm -hmm. goes into all the stacks and puts us at a hundred year limit i completely didn't expect that yeah. the poe and the ai scene the poe and the fucking oh, piece when, of shit guy yeah when poe like, like like infected another infected AI. The, another ai that was yeah. brutal yeah a poe's death also was super sad super bad yeah i i um and at the whole time he's dying he's there with liz and they're trying they're having this conversation and it was it was sad man like these deaths were were brutal man they they were they were it was super violent super graphic super sexual super adult super yeah. rated r yeah um but super amazing like lot like really good uh what didn't you like about it there's got to be some there's, there's there's two things i did not like about it that's well you go first annoying. number one i don't like lizzie I don't like what happened to her. I it, 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 she she transcended to a different component in the in the series we didn't see. She, her physical form was gone. Her stack was gone. Right. You know, and she became, Well, no, no, her stack was still there. No, but 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 Oh, at the end when at they the pull end, her out at of the, the end, stack. Poe, yeah. Poe sends her to the clouds. Yeah, and he, her stack is dead in the water. So, yeah. technically she becomes an AI. Yes. Yes, she does. She becomes an AI and then she goes into an android type body. Yes. To overtake it. But then she has the power to physically manipulate that android to make it look like herself all of a sudden and yeah. sound like herself. That that's where that's where I'm kind of just like it it, it 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 walks a fine line between scientific explanation and fantasy. No, but but you yeah. got to remember at that point there were AIs that you were able to uh there were bodies that you were able to manipulate. What and change the way that they look yes. and everything? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty positive. I that might I might have got a I I might have had to go. I'm pretty that. positive. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Well, that was one thing. I, I thought that was awesome. I think the concept of that you have these like stacks, right? And the next evolution being the human consciousness actually becoming an AI was something that I've never seen done before in uh, it's, in sci-fi. It's cool. It's a cool concept. I, I I think they did a bad job explaining it though. No, yeah, yeah. I, I, because I think there was no real good way to explain that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think they just did it. I I, I think it would have been better if Lizzie got into that body and didn't change to look like lizzie okay you know i think that would have been it would have been a better explanation to the audience the fact that she did made a physical transformation well it could also it could also be because remember it was the the whole um the whole surgery the whole rehabilitation of her character was so she could defend herself from the people that yeah. did what they did to her uh -huh. so maybe she turns into that because she wanted them to know who was coming yes you know, so I mean that that explains it. But I understand your qualms. I also thought she was just going to be some super crazy fucking lawnmower man type AI. Yes, and she did. was just going to fuck up the ship. I did not think she needed a physical body, but it didn't bother me. She didn't need a physical. That's another thing too. For her transcending into like yeah, she AI didn't need form, it. She could have taken down that ship. You know, it would have been awesome if she would have controlled all the fucking like all the bodies, all the clones at once. Wow, like done it like Matrix style. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that would have been cooler. There, there, there were a lot more possibilities. But they, they definitely limited her. They did. They yeah. did. Uh, and then the other thing I didn't like is for the future, where all this stuff is possible, where we see all this amazing technology, and scary technology for that matter, security is horrible. Like, it seemed like these guys, like, 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 uh, 
like Kovac's partner, the guy that was playing the waiter up in the clouds, mm-hmm. like he just conveniently walks his way into the security room and takes out that one guy and hacks into the other thing. Uh, there seems to be no surveillance cameras anywhere because nobody can, you know. But you don't want you wouldn't want surveillance in a place like that. Well, not even just anywhere. Like there, there's that one scene where where uh, Kovac m- manipulated that footage to show to show the the guy that killed himself. The, the, but but don't you think walking that into that place that the AI got shut down and then like he. Uh, there's no street cams or anything like verifying but but it also it, you know? like when you feel like that's kind of like just a result of the technology they have like the need for no security because like what happens i like, kill you, you just get resleeved i understand that but you still you're going to tell me there won't be any type of surveillance right like door lockage anything like like, like even when they infiltrated the 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 sky the the, the sky whorehouse at right. the end like they infiltrated it way too easy no yeah yeah they could have used them considering you know yeah that's annoying uh and and uh and then and then the third thing i didn't like is you know they got flying cars which kudos to the whole back to the future technology that they use mm-hmm. but their landing is so rough the cars are always and they're like dude, dude. <laughs> like, yeah i'm like don't you think it'd be a little smoother <laughs> like, yeah but anyways that the little tiny gripe but it's just it, that's other than that i love the show i loved it i loved it yeah his kovach is the one thing that bothered me the name bothered me yeah. um i i didn't you know what? The the only gripe I have would probably be with uh, Ortega, like her casting. Um, she was just weird. Like I, I, I no, she but she was like, she was like schizophrenic almost. Like she wasn't schizophrenic. She, I I just there was I don't know. I I didn't completely buy into that character. I I liked Ortega. I, I mean I I didn't buy into the character. I mean other than that I thought I was. I mean there's really no problems with it. Yeah. So uh, season two will Netflix do one? You think? No. You don't think so? No. They don't need to. I will say that. They don't need to. They put the villain away. And, you know, Riker's going to get his sleeve back. Kovac is going to go into whatever. Ortega obviously loves Riker, but has love for Kovac now as well. Yeah. So, you know, that's a complicated situation. But Kovac, you know, at the end, he's like, listen, like, I know we had something special, but my love is out there. Yeah. So, it's, it's yeah. they could do, like, uh, him searching for her. Which I think would do the show disservice. Yeah. I know? mean, I, I just... How how does how does how does Netflix monetize this stuff? I don't know. Like one of the best things I thought about, the, like I I love the detective aspect of it. And so what would season two be another mystery that they? Need oh to yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, is it going to be another like detective story? Like it can't be. I mean, you could you could maybe do. You know what what could be? I mean, if if they do the show again, just like just ditch the whole Kovac character, just focus on Ortega. Yeah, they could di- they could di- ditch the Kovac character, but it was the envoy and the the mysticalness about that, you know, like it was a huge part of it. Yeah, but the, but the show had so many interesting different interesting things they could explore. I mean, they could be like Poe returning the whole AI world. No, there's definitely like things that they could branch off. Into. Yeah, yeah. But Which I think would be their best bet because again, like you said, it was a detective. It was a noir story. Maybe something along the AI, or they might just go the route of Lizzie. Who who knows? Like which way they would go. I I don't think that they're gonna do one. Just uh, how expensive the show was, how expensive it looked, and and because I have no idea how they monetize this shit, I don't expect it, dude. Well, either way, it is definitely worth the watch, even if it's only ten episodes yeah. long. Considered a really long. So it's movie. ten hours, yeah. Yeah, or like like it's it's four movies. Yeah. Yeah. But it is worth it. It's 100% worth your it's watch. It's worth it. It's really good. And uh, people should watch it just to get those viewing numbers up, man. What, for Netflix? Yeah. What do we care? Netflix? But Netflix cares. I mean, whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, check out Altered Carbon on Netflix. Uh, you got anything else to say about the show? No. All right. For, so for Tom and Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I'm Stephen Corka. I'm Juan Faraj. Oh, and before we go, we got two stores, Corker Comics, one in Pines Boulevard, on Pines Boulevard, just East of University, driving Pembroke Pines, and one on 107th and 8th in Miami, across from FIU. Uh, and that's all I got to say. Yeah. Subscribe to our channel, youtube.com forward this slash Corker Coming Comics, off really clumsy. Or search Corker Comics. I know, I'm doing, I'm doing this. This is really things. clumsy. I know. So you have a hard time saying goodbye. Never could say goodbye, no. Meow. No, no, no. Oh, you want to do that? Yeah. No. Black Panther. Black Panther. Meow, meow. Black Panther. That's that's my jam. Anyways, later.